Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial and today I'll be teaching you how to color grade and last week I've been promising that I will do a tutorial on color grading and last week um, if you missed the episode make sure you check it out the episode is called how to color correct your video so basically I will teach you how to color correct which was not uh, known by the camera and easy to way to fix it and I've even made a solution on how to do it even you don't have a white balance um, plugin so make sure you check that out and now um, I will do a color grading uh, tutorial and what I mean by color grading is very simple you just color grade your video and uh, just know this colors can change mood so um, I don't have a video for this but uh, this picture uh, looks like a film look so I will just uh, match that to out pass and uh, just adjust that there and uh, basically this looks like a film unless if he doesn't look at the camera straight uh, he's my uncle, and, and uh, yeah, just want to tell that out. Um, so as you could see, I'm just playing around with that, and uh, the picture looks quite okay. As you could see, it was shot on DSLR, and uh, the quality is just great. Um, yeah, uh, this is basically raw, no color correction or anything. So now I would like to change this mode. Just want to tell you that I am not an expert on color grading, but I do know the fact that as an experienced person, that I know what I'm doing. And make sure you can research on what uh, different types of color grading such as indie look and vivid and there's lots of types you could go after and there are even some plugins that are um, here and has a sorry for that static um, that has a preset and you could just apply that and as I said video um, Sony Vegas as I said Sony Vegas is not for color grading or color correction so if you have any like um, other softwares Make sure you choose that option, but if you don't have, um, you're all right. Um, so well, what I like to do is, uh, I don't like to stick with the presets. Uh, presets are the good point to use and start up my own. Presets are not there for you. Presets are there for you to make changes, right? And uh, But I like to do it all by myself. First, let's go with a scary tone, all right? Let's make this film a little bit darker and uh, make this look a little bit scary and to do that is very simple let's think of a night shot during night time um, what do you think is gonna happen the camera is not gonna catch a lot of the colors because of the low light thing and basically the scene will be pretty dark and it will contain blue because when it's uh, dark uh, it tends to have blue colors in it uh, it's tinted to blue so what I like to do now is first desaturate this footage and what I mean by desaturate is um, uh, get out of the colors <laughs> I don't know the good term for that so let's just um, bring out our video scopes again which is really helpful when you're color correcting I would like to put this here and go back to all perfect and as you could see the picture is saturated um, the red and blue, green and blue is too high I would like to desaturate, bring it back down, and uh, the broadcast level is pretty far. So what I like to add is a uh, black and white. Uh huh. Reset to non preset. Apply that to the video, and uh, seeing this both, um, let's bring this up. Uh, if you go to a hundred percent, it will be a black and white, and you don't want to have a black and white film. So around four, uh, zero point four would do for a night shot. It you just have to. Uh, play around so to find a good effect but for me 40% works well after we have desaturated the colors what I would like to do next is um, on darken the video you could use curves or levels however I like to use curves in this instance because if you use uh, levels it will crush black and you don't want to uh, crash some stuff uh, what I like to do is play with the contrast so bring out the curves make sure it's on RGB channel and uh, just bring this down the highlight and it'll be darker and push this all the way down uh, not all the way down but just uh, just a touch so that there will be a difference uh, you don't want to bring the lower one too much but you would like to bring the top one because you would like to destroy the highlights uh -huh. and uh, as you could see here is um, Let's get this out. Here's before and here's after. 
just with that two effects applied it looks like a night shot and what you like to do next is add a blue colors to it as you can see on the color curves preset and um, there is such called a cool colors and all that night and all that great stuff however as I said I like to create my own style so I like to go to a color corrector first because in the secondary you don't have a three wheel color wheel but in color corrector you have a three wheel uh, color wheel so what I mean by this is sorry about the noise right there there's a low and mid and a high tone so high is the places which is uh, basically bright and mid are the mid tones which is um, not low and in the middle so um, basically we would like to bring the low to blue mm, let's see the difference that's gonna be happening <laughs> that I crushed too much there as you could see so just bring it up a bit touch mm -hmm. I like the color so just desaturate a little bit more great and maybe a little bit of green in the midtones and a little bit more blue in the highlights and let's see how that went so here's um, before and here's after now uh, you could add some more effects to darken this video I would like to darken it a little bit more so going back to video effects and going to color curves and uh, crashing the highlights more now that looks a little bit more better uh-huh you can always play around uh, which goes first and which goes uh, later on and uh, yeah this must be in front now as you could see the mood is basically um, dark and as you could see it's kind of horror and all that stuff so to show you I have a half chosen here the left one is before and the right one is after so um, yeah that's how you simply do it in uh, dark situations and let's just all cancel this and now we would like to um, make this scene a little bit more uh, let's just say a film look and what I mean by film look is from the Michael Bay color correction. Uh, Michael Bay is a director of the Transformers and how he color corrects his videos. And let me tell you how you do that. All you need is one color corrector and uh, bring down the reset to non preset uh, to the video track. And what you do next is pretty simple. Uh, this is how the Hollywood styles uh, color grade their own videos. First of all, what you do is to bring the mid tones to orange. A little bit. The reason why we bring up the midtones to orange is because midtones are the skin tones, and you basically want to have a great skin tone. So as you could see, there's before and after. I uh, could see a little bit of change on his face. So let's uh, make that a half, and as you could see, maybe you kind of see a difference. Well, if you just bring that a little bit more to orange, and uh, there we go. There we go. We have a nice. There we go. We have a nice skin tone. What we like to do is to bring the low to cyan blue. Perfect, and the high around a little bit of green. perfect now what you can do now is add a saturation control so I think my video was too saturated and uh, I like to desaturate it uh, perfect uh, I think that was a little bit too much that'll do now um, you could always bring up the gamma or bring down the gamma however I would like to bring down the gamma To make this video a bit darker and uh, maybe bring up the gain a little bit as I say you don't want to 
too much saturated stuff. And uh, five. Maybe not. There we go. And you can always feel free to save this preset as a film look. And I just click this save button and that will be saved as a preset. Now, how does that look? As you can see, the skin tones was well preserved. As you can see on, not, not on my face, but his face, I got a nice a orange feel to it. And in the shadows, such as my shadows right here, is uh, tinted to cyan, cyan blue, as you can see right here. And a little bit of highlights, um, let's just say on my hair, is that a little bit of green so that is the Michael Bay style uh, and it all depends on which film you're looking but here is before and after again so yeah um, diff basically it changes the mood and uh, basically without the effects it kind of looks unprofessional with no color grading applied just looks uh, straight out from your camera and you don't want to look like a newbie in front of many people so color creator added perfect I love that and what I want to do next is try to make this look more film look. So we just click on event pan slash crop and basically turn off the lag aspect ratio and uh, enable snapping and just simply bring those down. Oops. There we go. And uh, find a good place to position. Mm, that's a little bit too up there. always take note of the rule of thirds and all that stuff and I think I could zoom in a little bit more and get me on the focus All right, there we have it. Uh, <laughs> just with simple changes, uh, <laughs> that already looks like a film to me. <laughs> Don't you think? All right, thank you guys for watching, and make sure you do more research about it, and maybe next time I'll teach you how to color crack on After Effects and our other program. And this is basically how you do it, and make sure um, you see it on Preview Full to see all the details and all that stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope this was useful, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, I'm out.